Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Mr. Lawrence and in today's video I will show you all the best Halloween glitches in GTA Online. I will show you how to get all rare Halloween biker jackets, how to get inside the UFO and how to get this modded outfit. Leave a like if you enjoy these videos and subscribe for more. There will be timestamps in the description below and I will start by showing how to get inside the UFO. First you will need to bookmark the job from the pinned comment. I believe this one is only for PlayStation but when you bookmark it, restart your game so it pops up in game. Then you can find it via your pass menu if you go to bookmark the jobs and then to stunt races. Now start the job called Inside UFO Laboratory. When you are on this screen, join someone who is in a different targeting mode than you. So if your targeting mode is assisted aim, join someone that's in a free aim session and vice versa. Accept the first alert and decline the second one. You will now fall through the map, just wait till you respawn. Now start the stunt race that you bookmarked again. From here, join someone in a different targeting mode again, accept the first alert and decline the second one. This time you won't fall down. Go into first person so you can see the interior. If you spawned on top of it, try to jump down. You can jump down through this part of the ceiling. Now you can go third person and look around in the UFO. It's pretty cool because there are many secrets like a green alien egg, an oppressor mark 2 and a jetpack blueprint. Next I will show how to get all Halloween biker jackets. You won't lose any of your saved outfits, but you do need two consoles and netcards. You can also use a console from a trusted friend and for netcards you will need a PC or laptop. The download link for netcard will be in the description below. In this video C1 is console 1 and C2 is console 2. First sign in to C2 and load into story mode. Then open your pause menu, go to online, play GT online and hover over invite only session. From here sign in to the same account on C1 and load into online. C2 will get signed out and then just follow the video. We will start with the white biker jacket. First go to the clothing store, then to the outfit section and equip a standard outfit. Now remove your headgear and save this outfit as C1. You need 3 empty outfit slots in order to do this glitch. Then go to the top section and go to party shirts. Now purchase the black party shirt, number 72. Back out and open your interaction menu. Go to style, then to jacket and set it open. Save this outfit in an empty slot and name it C2. Now you will need to remove your party shirt. Then go to rolled sleeve t-shirts and purchase the blue digital rolled tee, number 24. Save this outfit in another empty slot and name it C1, number 2. So C1 will be a standard outfit, C2 the outfit with the black party shirt and C1 number 2 will be this outfit with the blue t-shirt. From here equip your C1 outfit and wait for the yellow loading circle in the bottom right corner. It's really important that you see it, otherwise it won't work. Then go to netcat on your PC or laptop. Find your C1 console by looking at the IP address. Now click on the blue Wi-Fi symbol to lag your connection. Then wait for about 15 to 20 seconds. This depends on your internet speed so you may have to wait a little bit longer. From here sign back into the same account on C2. You will already be in story mode so now start an invite only session. So C1 and C2 should both still be signed in. You also only have about 2 minutes to do this part. Now quickly equip your C2 outfit and wait for the yellow loading circle. 
then go back to story mode and for now we don't need console number 2. Now go back to C1 and have netcat ready. Equip your second C1 outfit, so this one, then close your interaction menu and click on the red Wi-Fi symbol to reconnect your connection. You will now get signed out of C1. Sign back in and wait till you're in story mode. When you are back in story mode, start an invite only session. When you are back in online, you will now have the white biker jacket. You can now go ahead and save this outfit. You can now also change and add anything to this outfit. Pants, shoes, accessories and headgear. Next we will do the red biker jacket. You can keep C1, so the standard outfit. Then go to the tops and go to party shirts again. Now purchase number 46. Then close this shirt via your interaction menu. Save this outfit as C2. Now go to tactical jackets and purchase number 27. Save this outfit as C1 number 2. So C1 should be the standard outfit, C2 the closed party shirt and C1 number 2 the one with the tactical jacket. Now we have to repeat the exact same steps as for the white biker jacket. So just go back into the video and when you did the 2 console glitch again you will spawn back with the red biker jacket. Now we will make the component outfits for the black biker jacket. We can keep the C1 and C2 outfit, but for the C2 outfit we just need to open this party shirt. Then resave this outfit as C2. Now go to the scuba suits and equip the black scuba suit. Then save this outfit as C1 number 2. From here, do the two consoles glitch again and when you are back in online, you have the black biker jacket. Save this outfit and then we will get the last gold biker jacket. C1 will be the standard outfit and then go to the tops. Go to biker jackets and purchase the black light biker, number 15. Save this outfit as C2. Stay at the tops and go to tactical jackets, then purchase the black tactical mid length. Save this outfit as C1 number 2. Make sure that you have these outfits. Now do the 2 console glitch one last time. When you did that you have this gold biker jacket. Save this outfit and now you can make some cool biker jacket outfits like you saw in the intro. By doing this glitch you will lose all of your saved outfits except for one. So equip one outfit that you want to keep and delete your saved outfits. You also need GTA 5 story mode in order to do this glitch. Now open your pause menu, go to online and swap character.
Your main character on the left side has to be a male character and your second character on the right has to be a female, otherwise it won't work. Now create a new second female character and copy the rank from your main character. Then just load into online and make your way over to any clothing store. If they don't appear, find a new session and they will appear. When you are at the clothing store, first go to the accessories. Make sure that your character isn't wearing any accessories like earrings. Then go to gloves and equip the light woodland armor, number 32. Now head over to the pants, go to cargo pants and purchase the navy cargoes. Then come over to the top section. Go to fitted suit jackets and purchase the white boating blazer. Stay at the tops and go down to tactical jackets, then purchase the last one. Now go to the shoe section. Go to high heel boots and purchase the coffee folded boots, number 21. Then save this outfit in your first outfit slot. Now we only have to change the top, so go to the tops. Go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo closed field, number 38. Stay in the tops and scroll down to gun running t-shirts, then purchase the last one, so the blue digital t-shirt. Now equip the light woodland armored gloves via your interaction menu, then save this outfit your next empty outfit slot. You should now have these two component outfits. Then open your interaction menu and take the easy way out to force a quick save. When you respawn, open your pause menu, go to online and start creator. Once you are in creator, create a race, then select the tutorial and accept this alert. Now open your pass menu again, go to online and choose character. Now you will need to delete your second character, so your female character. From here, if you are on the next gen version of GTA, click the link in the pinned comment because there is a workaround to transfer outfits on next gen. If you are on last gen, just press circle or B to go back to story mode. When you are in story mode, go straight back to online. Once you are back in online, you will still have the outfit that you wanted to keep. Save that outfit in slot number 20. If you did everything correctly, the other outfits are also transferred over. Now equip a standard outfit and then go to the tops. Go to racing jerseys and purchase the first one that you see, so the pumped motocross. From here, you will need to bookmark the job that's linked in the pinned comment. When you bookmark the job, you will need to restart your game so it pops up in game. You can then find it through your pause menu under bookmarked jobs and then to missions. If you can't bookmark it for some reason, your friend can bookmark it and invite you to the job. Make sure that the host changes the clothing setting to player saved outfits and then he can start. When you are on this screen, press right on the d-pad twice and ready up. When 
reload in, make your way over to your apartment. You cannot see it on the map, but you should know where it's at. Now just enter your apartment. If it doesn't let you in, blow yourself up on the blue circle and when you respawn you can enter. Now make your way over to your wardrobe. You will now need to delete all the component outfits and save this outfit in slot 19. Now quit the mission through your phone. When you are back you won't have your outfit yet, but now you can equip it through your interaction menu. After a couple seconds the pants will come back, but before we fix that start any Rockstar created mission. When you load in, make your way over to a telescope. Equip a helmet, hat or mask, then run by the telescope as from right on the d-pad. Your character should not look into the telescope. Now equip the fully invisible outfit. Walk away and the hat, helmet or mask will transfer onto your outfit. You can now save this outfit again. We will now fix that the outfit disappears in free mode. First get inside your submarine. When you are here, go to the scuba icon on your minimap. Then register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Now stand by the scuba gear and hover over the invisible outfit. Equip it, then quickly back out and press right on the d-pad to equip the scuba gear. Now go to your CEO, VIP or MC management, style and go once to the right. Back out and press right on the d-pad again. You will now have the invisible outfit again and now you can wear it in free mode without it disappearing. If you find a new session or leave your organization, you will need to redo that trick. Keep in mind that you can always wear it in jobs, like heists and that matches without doing this trick. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye!